Hi guys, welcome to episode number 33 of our Mallorca career mode. We start off with a game against Celta Vigo away from home. If you can smash the likes guys, we massively appreciate it. Sub to the channel if you're new, follow me on Twitter at Jesus Legend. All the links are down below guys as usual for the respective career modes. So go and check them all out guys. And also check all the respective career mode folk out. Change the squad a little bit, we've got Carabali in, Furtado, Serdo Vicente. Hopefully it pays off guys, let's get 3 points. Arvidas and Chavez, we need these guys. Come on Chavez, come on Chavez, come on Chavez, missed you, missed you, missed you! But not that much because we've scored a beautiful goal. Eyes. Ah, we're delighted to have him back guys. Chavez was such an asset for the team last season alongside Aravidas. And now to have him back in, since his long injury, it's been a whopping four, four months, four to five months that he's been out for. And it's quite daunting really when you've lost really one of your most consistent strikers, and you're having to rely on Monero and Chetri. Well, Chetri's done a great job. It's Chavez is one was kind of seen as our main man, and that's his second of the season. One lad, Chumanchero playing it short. No, he's not. Go on, go on, get in, son. Don't know who scored that actually. Who scored that beautiful goal? Was that for Tado Arujo? What a brilliant goal, son, if it was. I, f I was going f I was initially thinking of playing it short, but the way they've just opened up, the whole set of Vigo defence has just kind of closed up shop and gave us an easy shot in the end. And that's like a, a, that's just like a striker's volley, that. That's some finish. Great control, but for um, Aru ah, it is Arujo. Arujo is some player, guys. He must be either a regen of someone's because he is a god at the back. 54 minutes, 2-0 guys, we're playing well. Right, come on. Hernandez. Gomez. What are we going to get from this? Pardo. That's a good ball, isn't it, to be honest. Couldn't really do much about that, guys. That is what. That is really one of those crosses in. It's, it's really going to just lead to a goal, in all honesty. So, 2-1. It's a good, good cross, and to be honest, the centre, I'm, I think it's, I'm not sure who it is, is initially maybe read it right, but because the other man has ki came in, and, oh, it's Giadetti as well, he scored in the last game, but Giadetti came in the last time, um, but in this one, he's just kind of came in and bulleted it and, and beat the defender. Good goal in the end, in all honesty. 2-1, guys. Oh, God. Come on lads, let's not do anything silly now, for God's sake. Gaston Ramirez. And Giudetti. Orlana. Malo. Come on guys, come on Orlana! Come on! Jesus God! 2-0 up. Away from home. And we're now 2-2. Seriously, this is taking the biscuit. Quite literally. Just when I thought... We've maybe got a bit of a breakthrough in terms of our form, it's clearly not going to be. So I'm really having to up our game big style. And this feels like a bit of a kick in the teeth. That we've, that we've thrown away a valuable two goal lead. So I'm a bit annoyed on that really. And hopefully, and I mean hopefully, that we can address this big style guys with five minutes to go and get a third that is the dream target but on this form Celtic Vigo's got the advantage oh come on guys Let, if we could see the third from all this from 2-0 up I'm, I might put my resignation in <laughs> come on get away get it away god almighty man take an absolute piss 2-0 up to 3-2 seriously man come on not even cleared well, Gaston Ramirez bangs it away and we've thrown three points away, we've even thrown a point away at worst. Um, fans will be gutted, board will be gutted, everyone will be wanting me to get the sack after that to be honest. We've not really, in the end it's not like we've not really deserved it, fourth of the season for him as well. He's a good player Gaston Ramirez, just never performed in the Premier League which is pretty gutting because he's a quality player. This is just absolutely brutal, guys. You're just going to have to try and either force one last attack, or nothing, really, in all honesty. 3-2 loss, guys. That is an absolute brutal result to take, and big style. 
Second game of the episode, guys, is against Granada. Hopefully we can get a result after the disappointing result against Celta Vigo. But time will tell, of course. And um, we've tweaked the squad a little bit. Clayton Lewis is in and Monero's up front this time over. Chavez just bringing him in, breaking Chavez back in and Hurtado on it right back. Let's get the result, guys, badly. Right. Hurtado, Galiz, come on, Galiz. Come on, Galiz, Galiz. Christian Galiz, he puts the ball away for 1 0. We've really, really got to keep this pressure going. If we want to win games, this is the kind of performance. We're, we're, we're like this in the Celtic Vigo game, guys, where we were 2 0 up and we were playing so well, and then we just crumbled. We can't afford to do this at this time. If for a goal up, we've got to keep the pressure on and just keep the goal flowing because otherwise, we are not going to get this top half spot. That's what we're aiming for, still, guys, is like a top half finish. And these are the results that make the difference. Further the season, 18th minute. Let's keep this pressure going, guys. Sure, we can do it. Time will tell. Hurtado really played well this game. Monero, come on, Monero. Maybe get a bit of magic. Oh, get in! I thought the goalie was going to get that, to be honest, but I think he's got his whole timing and his body wrong there. Defender probably should have done a bit better in getting that, but I'm not going to complain. 2 0 to the good. Monero has proven in this game why. He, um, he slotted in over Chavez, mainly because Chavez was really knackered after his first game back. But that is a good finish. Chavez would probably have scored that just as well and same with Aravidas. But the goalie there is kind of mainly at fault. The whole body position is completely all over the place. He ended up trying to do the splits, backfired and they're 2-0 down. But Granada, I think they need the win just as, more than us really in a sense, but we need to keep the pressure going. Fourth of the season, 50 minutes played. Are they going to get one last attack? Or are we going to get one last attack? Perez. One. No. 2 0 1, guys. That is a good solid result. I ain't going to complain. Happy days indeed. Third game of the episode, guys, is against Espanol. This should be a tough one, guys. Hopefully, we can get a result against Espanol. They've always been quite a tricky little side to play against, and hopefully, we can prove it here. This time, we brought Chavez in at Cam over. Um, Clayton Lewis, that is the only change we've made. Hopefully it pays off guys and get three points. Chavez plays quite well in a cam role for what I've seen so far. Chumanchero, Chumanchero! Get in son! What an absolute talent! It's like, from a free agent perspective, he's just great to have. And you think to yourself, oh he's quite low rate, he's not going to be a difference maker. To be honest guys, you'd be surprised how good Chumanchero actually is. If you were like a decent little outfit, he would slot into your midfield very nicely. The growth doesn't really happen, even if you train him so much. But that is a good finish from him. And I can't complain whatsoever. So 1-0 guys, early on in this game. And the pressure will hopefully keep mounting on to um, Espanyol. Setting the season from 11 minutes gone. Okay, happy days. But the thing is, guys, we've got to remember that um, Espanyol, I think in terms of the season, they are safe going into this, I believe, if I remember looking at the table before we went into this game. Come on, lads, let's not do anything silly now. What's that for a touch? Right, Mon Aravidas. Get us some magic, get us some magic. Oh, what a ball, if Monero can get there. That'll do, a bit of pressure. Bit of pressure on, that'll help. Hurtado. Chumanchero, oh, Chuman oh, no like you, son. Co Co oh, God, Cochrane's back in. Oh, God, not ideal. Such a great striker, I always recommend him for career most guys. Cochrane, Montanez. Oh, come on, seriously. That is a joke. Shambles. Right, Cochrane. Cochran, what is he going to do? Ah, oh, cheeky, right down the middle. That is really bloody cheeky, that. That is quite nasty. And 1-1, one, one, Alexander Cochran with a goal. And to be honest, the way the game's kind of panned out so far, guys, there's a long way to go. And 
it's, it was a penalty that we shouldn't really be trying to give away, but if you're going to make clumsy tackles, then you're going to get punished. And Dreer, he's just kind of just dived a little. He's moved over a little bit, and then he's not really dived, and was suckered into that. And it's 1-1, right down the middle. Going by the body position of the player as well, you'd kind of, I should have guessed it would be down down the middle, but not to be. Ah, well, 1-1, one, one. ninth for the season for Cochran. 22 minutes played, guys. This is definitely getting into a good game, I would say. Hopefully more goals can flow, that is a big question. Right, come on, Chavez. Come on, Chavez. Oh, nearly down. Nearly down. Come on, Chavez. Oh, get in! Get in, son! He's slotted beautifully into the Cambro and his brother in arms of Aravidas comes over to celebrate with him. That is a good finish in the end. He's, since he's came back guys, Chavez has proven to be very useful and this is practically second game back and he's got two goals, what a return. Proven how much we've missed him and Aravidas going over to give him a great big hug. Two minutes before half time guys, third of the season for Chavez, let's keep this pressure going. Let's get a goal. Come on, let's get a third, if we can get a third to wrap this up guys I'll be happy. Aravidas, oh, unlucky. Yanis Colombo. Such a great player. The feds are all over the place now. Oh, get in! Get in, son! That just silences the Espanol fans for good there. 3-1. Three, Three valuable points, guys, after the absolute disaster of the Celtic Vigo game earlier in the episode. So we're definitely looking comfortable now. I'm happy with this, guys. We needed a big result. And we've got it here, so I'm happy. And that is a good finish. Nearly going in off the post as well when you look at it. But that is a real powder keg of a shot. 3-1. Espanyol can't do anything about it. And all we need now is the final whistle. Fourth of the season for Colombo. We've got quite a lot of players have scored a lot of goals around the team. So it's been quite a, a sheer effort, I would say, amongst the team. So just this final whistle, guys, is all we're waiting for now. And that's us sorted guys, with the full time whistle, I hope you've enjoyed the episode guys, remember to smash the likes, comment down below what you thought of it, sub to the channel if you're new, follow me on Twitter at Legend. all the links are down below guys, thanks for watching guys, take it easy and I will see you all soon.